Hey guys and girls, here I am again with the second part of today's Adom stream with Bill, who is getting stronger by the minute. Yeah, um, in the last uh, part of the stream, we cleared the Greater Undead Vault and it turned out to be a really good idea. Circlet of the Pure Mind, the Wall, and the Whip of the Vampire Snake. These were our loot from this Greater Vault and I think that's pretty amazing. Apart from that, we still have uh, the Chainmail of the Martyred Crusader. And we also have True Aim, the Ring of the High Kings, and uh, the Elemental Gauntlets to uh, finish our uh, artifact arsenal. Totally great. Hi, Tunica. We've got big plans for the second part of today's stream. We do want to kill the Ancient Chaos Worm. But before we do so, let's maybe quickly finish this lesser vault here. Oh! Black Dragon Scale Mail. Acid Immunity was the only immunity we didn't have yet. So if we stumble upon a greater... Nah, we don't want to do that. If we have to kill a couple ancient black dragons or so, we can get the immunity. Nice, nice. Apart from that, I think I would feel a little safer if we would spend one more of our wishes now. We will do that. And we wish for a girdle of giant strength. Can we wish for several girdles of giant strength? Does that work? Girdles of giant strength? Can, we cannot. Uh, I, I cannot thought so. Girdle of gi giant strength. Let's take that. We swap our Mithril Girdle, our protection is high enough, also without that Girdle, for the Girdle of Giant Strength. Here it is. And we... Do we have Holy Water? Just a single potion. Oh, that's not a lot. Then we have to be a bit careful of... Uh, okay, we have 16 Water Potions. We have to be a bit careful of uh, Acid Damage. Uh, that increased our carrying capacity uh, currently to 30,000, but um, we will not stay at 30,000, of course. We work a little on our whip skill. With 50 protection and 60 dodge value in very aggressive mode, I feel pretty comfortable just running into this vault and killing everything. Damage is up to 39 already. And I love the sound of the whip. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, we are currently... Um, rocketing through this dungeon with the speed of 158 which is um, indeed pretty insane um, that's the cool thing about this whip it gives us a 16 point speed bonus which probably mi means we will never level up again because we don't get that much experience from the enemies anymore but well Potential Charisma. And so far, these stacks that we uh, collected for the whip didn't go down. It is now up to 53 plus 42 points of damage. Oh, we got critically hit. I have to be a bit careful of that. Getting hungry also. We might eat some of these giants soon. A 
Bill is shredding now, Tunica. You are right. Dex and speed go up through the damage of the weapon. Okay, okay, okay. We take that. Oh, Baritzia potion. Didn't really need that. There were some corpses over here, weren't there? Let's eat this white dragon and the frost giant. Okay. Still plus 42. We will see if we get that even higher. Okay, we got hit once, but we could easily regenerate it. Plus 44. It just gets higher and higher. I should say that's actually pretty strong. Okay, okay, and that was, uh, apparently that was the boss. Didn't really pay attention, that's why he could hit us. Speed is 160 already. To hit 75. Dex 46 is pretty insane indeed. Yes, Costas, we already did the labyrinth. Killed the... the boss cow. Got the axe. Ate the boss cow. <laughs> Highest speed ever, I, I cannot tell you. I don't remember. I don't know. I, I had some pretty fast characters in the past. But I don't exactly remember how fast the fastest of them was. Yeah, Chaos Knight is probably very well suited to winning the race of the Adom characters. Um, do we need anything of these things? A ring of invisibility, nice. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 10,000 gold, well, okay. Up to 46 points of damage now. I hope we won't die from uh, equipment crushing now. Whip skill goes up. That will make the weapon even stronger. And I think we're done here. Nice, nice. We can quickly scout the rest of the level. Because why not? We are already here. At the moment our whip does plus 47 damage. Yeah, if it stays at this damage level, then it would be really good. But it will probably not. It will probably uh, go back down at one point. This is quarter stuff weighing 40 stones. You guys would be angry if I didn't pick that up. These guys die pretty quickly to this whip. 47, okay, maybe. Oh, I ran into an acid vortex with the girdle of giant strength. We could just have lost it there. Okay, now the damage goes back down. No, 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 I just changed tactics. Maybe that was it. I'm kind of hoping that maybe the damage will not go down, that it will just stay super strong. That would, of course, be kind of cool. But I guess that would be too much to hope for. Yeah, it will go down. 
So far it didn't go down, at least. So we have to try out how long that takes. Oh, it just lost precision. I think we just got a message. Okay. Eat this. Yeah, yeah, we're losing the lethality now. The question is, is it still worth using this weapon? I mean, we are super duper fast. Oh. Yeah, we're losing dexterity too. That's a uh, troll king. Want of wonder, always nice. A fine cloak. And we're done here. So, time to go back upwards. So, towards the surface. We've done our mission for the Ice Queen. So, uh, oh, here's our, uh, our golem buddy. Almost forgot him. But we leave him in here so he doesn't die. We don't want to see him dying. I think he's feeling pretty good in here. He can maybe make friends with the, with the ice giants. We are back at the surface. Nice. Let's quickly move over to the next altar. We could kill a black unicorn on the way because just because we can. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. The biggest strength of Bill is actually his magical power. With uh, this insane willpower that he has. And Acid Ball, that's what makes Bill extremely strong. In combination with his great defensive stats. Let's quickly teleport over here, because we need some holy water. We'll just drop all potions. Pick them all back up. That's the holy water we needed. Now let's take a look around our equipment. Potential charisma, we can just drink that. I, I'd like to identify our stuff. Do we still have an um, identify potion left? Uh, never, uh, maybe not at the moment. But we've got 27. Uh, 27 should be enough. No, uh, wait. This dip. these 26 scrolls into holy water and read one of them. Okay, okay. We will go into our cozy little room up here, lock the door and see what we want to keep and what we want to drop. I think we'll never use that again. We stay with our artifacts. Can drop this. Yeah, yeah, the black dragon skills, I should... Oh, also, we should definitely bless the giant strength girdle. That's maybe the most important. Let's also bless the black dragon scales. Wait, yeah, why? That's a good question. But we should bless the... The vampire whip. Um... Let's just drop the rest of the stuff. I mean, we have uh, 120,000 gold. We don't need to sell the stuff even. We just drop what we don't need. Oh, I'm an idiot.
I think the chance of the uh, Black Dragon Scale item to get destroyed is pretty low anyways. It's pretty much just annihilators when we wear it. We can drop the adamantium. What, what did I just drop? Everything? Oh no, I dropped everything. Pick everything up. And now... Okay, guys. Ten minutes. Ten minutes break. Uh, who doesn't want to see it? Uh, come back in ten minutes. Until then, just inventory management. <laughs> we will drop everything we don't need now. This... Oh no, no, not everything. Oh no, I dropped everything again. I'm an idiot. Drop... Mm. This and this. We keep the crown of science. This, this, this. H. Uh, this and this. We keep these two armors. We keep the dwarven artifacts, of course. We can drop all the other shields. Uh, yeah. These are nice shields, but by far not as good as ours. Inverse cloak, we might keep that. We can just keep the defense. These two defense cloaks. I think defense is now better than protection. Now that the enemies start to crit for really high damage. We keep our super mithril girdle just in case our giant strength girdle gets destroyed, which we don't hope for, of course. Can drop all these boots. Keep balance. Keep. Will we ever use rapid healing? Nope. We can drop this and that and this and that. We don't need even more. Maybe we want even more willpower. We keep that willpower amulet. Backup free action is not bad. Light. We take that too. But beauty and silver tongue and speed and we keep the eye. We can drop this light amulet. We keep the rest. Brace us, brace us, brace us. We keep a pair of backup regeneration bracers and I also keep the lifting bracers because maybe we will get very burdened at one point. We do definitely not need nine pickaxes. Let's drop eight of them. Face dagger, rough axe, non axe sword, big punch. We drop big punch. Why are we even carrying big punch? Hello. Broadsword. Pickaxe of might is actually cooler than this pickaxe. That's all crap here. Yeah, that's our weapon chamber inside our backpack. Nothing of penetration, so it was not worth picking it all up. I don't think there is any shop in the game that can pay for all these items. I think swirling mind we don't need. Dampening we keep. Nourishment we keep just for emergency, emergency, emergency. We keep one dampening stuff, that's enough. We can drop this shield quarter stuff. No, we got uh, Kaimio's shield earlier. I think it was in the last episode, but um, we just don't need it. Why is this halberd not identified? Uh, maybe we dropped it here earlier. We keep the Minotaur eggs. Who knows? Maybe we want to do ridiculously high damage at one point. Sensing traps. We take the blessed one. Stuff of the Earth Shaker. 
we keep that. That sounds fun. <clears throat> That's all the two-handed weapons. Let's continue with the cross. We keep the super crossbow. And maybe this backup longbow in case our bow gets destroyed. The rest we can drop. Arrows. We keep the blessed normal arrows and the blessed normal quarrels. Keep the slaying stuff, of course. I think we can drop pretty much everything else that is not uh, slaying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will all take a while till we're done here. These are nice items, Gugari of Death, for example. I always wanted to use them, but I think I never did. Dragon Slayers, keep them definitely. We will soon fight a couple dragons. And nine Eternium cores. Maybe we keep them too. Nine Eternium is enough. And these here, we can uncurse them, then we have 14. We can drop the bandages and the holy symbols. One climbing set. And thief picks. Hundred fifty Z's, we drop them all, we don't need these anymore. Hmm. Yes, still carrying these. <laughs> um throwing the Z's away is not one of my strong sides, I'm afraid. <laughs> um <clears throat> also we can drop these tambourines. I think we just keep the fiddle and that's fine. Maybe we also keep the loot. Fish ring we don't need. Ring of ice we absolutely need. Damage, fire resistance. Ah, so much crap we fear. <laughs> oh, Yorgash, you're so right. <laughs> I just read it now. The coolest is when you get through the entire item list and then press Z instead of space. Yeah, that's the moment when you consider just uh, pressing uh, Shift-Q. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Don't let your friends use Strength of Atlas. Indeed, I am the worst pack rat. The absolute worst. Speed rings, asset protection, searching. There are so many items that we will never ever need or use or anything else. Mental stability, I think we've got more than enough mental stability from our items. Uh, that's our Ginny summoning ring. Uh, we knew we had this one. And two invis rings. Well, one is enough, but we keep them both. <sighs> okay, I think we can also drop roughly a million wands because we've got all the original spells and I never use them. I always think when I run out of carrying capacity. The Ring of Genie Summoning is not yet blessed. We have to do that indeed. Trap detection, monster detection we keep. Item detection we keep too. Fire, paralyzation we might also keep. Teleportation we definitely keep. Fire, gold, fire, light, stunning, magic, missile, door creation. I think we keep two of the door creation ones with the couple castings. Wand of Death is kind of cool. Let's keep it just so we have a Wand of Death. Wand of Destruction we absolutely keep. And Wonder we will absolutely keep too. Wishing, still two wishes in it. Uh, 
You don't acknowledge the fancy pants, divine spell names. That me neither. I'm also totally unable to remember them. Every single time I completely forget the names of the spells. <laughs> Horrible. Technically, yeah, technically Bill never used Strength of Atlas. It was, uh, what, was what is the name? Um, Strength of the Gods or something like that? I forgot the name. <laughs> Wand of Grond. I think that was uh, the strange thing that kind of handles summoners or so. Mm. Keep earthquakes. So that's the wands. I will drop the stuff we uh, we had so far, and now we make. And now the, the, the Z and um, and space thing cannot happen. Carrying it increases your luck. Truly, just carrying it, the Wand of Grond. I didn't know that. In real, uh, in real life. Aha. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> where were we? <laughs> We've got 374 HP and mana now. That's kind of cool, I think. Okay, we have to try that. We, we make an experiment. We will drop the Wand of Ground, and if we die, we know that's the reason. I hope it's not going to happen. So, potions. Here we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. Got to press 9 first. Potions. We surely have a couple of potions we don't need. Poison. Never gonna use them. Blessed Inverse is cool. Blindness is cool. Holy Water, Boost, Blindness. That's all pretty nice here. Yeah? Inverse. Ah, we might curse them at one point. Boost Speed we keep, of course. Carrot Juice. Mwah. Or a carrot room, maybe. Yeah, Corin, it's gonna be interesting. I have never been in the ultimate dungeon. Never even tried it. It's gonna be super interesting to uh, find out how we handle that. We need the random map fragment and many other map fragments as well. I think we have just one at the moment. Side visibility we keep. Boost learning, we can drop stun recovery. I picked up a portion of stun recovery. Nice job, Mr. Overkill. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Exchange, maybe for some uh, ring dipping. Cure poison. Mm, yeah, why not? Boost perception, oil. We don't need that much more. Cure poison. Boost toughness we don't need, raw chaos we might keep, self-mutilation we probably do not need. And curse potential mana, no, we might uncurse it. Boost strength for a little extra damage. Three times cure corruption, that's nice. We've got the fire, that's nice too. Gain attributes, we should drink that. Why didn't we do that? Hmm. Potential strength, also cool. Scrolls next. Scroll of power we keep. Monster detection we keep, okay. Um, cursing we do not keep because we have the spell. TP, maybe when we're out of mana. Yeah, should keep that. Light we don't need. I don't think we need peace either. Ah, that's true, Kerberx. We didn't have holy water to bless it. The uh, potion of gain attributes. Now I remember, you're right. Keep magic mapping. Two times familiar summoning. Nice, we keep that for later. Cure Blindness, most important, scroll of them all. Um, 
Scroll of danger, we can drop, we're not going for an ultra ending. Make lay accuracy twice, three times, and melee damage once. That's not bad. We might use them on our on our face dagger again to make it even better than it already is. Dark predictions we don't need either. Spell books we will we will read them all. Yes. Absolutely, Frank, you're right. We should read the Tome of Donuts again. Here, um, we can drop everything that is not uh, blessed, I think. Apart from Stomophilia and Stomaceptia. I think we've got more than we will ever need. And we've got this massive herb farm in the, in the uh, big room. Mushroom of energy, mushroom of purity, mushroom of meditation. Purity is nice, of course. Energy was max mana, I think. Should use that. And then we've got the gems. Crystal of power, nice. That's everything. Drop. Now we are carrying just 10,000 stones. Why is it still 10,000? Oh, okay, we've got the gold. I think the gold alone is uh, 1,700, yeah. And we can all <laughs> our herbs are pretty heavy too. The books are pretty heavy too. That's right. That's right. Let's quickly swap to the crown of science and read these books. We can get rid of that. It is still locked, but maybe I should not have done that while doomed anyways. So let's uh, read all these books. Car Monster first. Cure disease next. We are almost playing a uh, duelist. Indeed, we are. Path five learning from. Oh, bah, 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 bah. I forgot that. Totally true. Um, that's um, yeah. Before we got to the most important books, I just wanted to test his thirst. Of course, that was not me forgetting everything. Um, <clears throat> So let's dip, um, start with the potion of gain attributes, let's bless that and drink it. Then we continue with the potions of learning, bless them and where did they go now? Learning, hello, here's the one. Oh, wait. Potion of learning. Also bless this and drink it. I would like to also bless and uh, drink the potion of potential strength. And anything we forgot. Got the potential mana potion there. We can quickly uncurse that and drink it. I zap the stuff of learning that I just dropped to the ground. Does that work? Let's give that a try. I think I never used the stuff of learning so far. So we take that. And see if we can zap it. We have learning 33 at the moment. If we 52 now, nice. So we start with the tough spells now. Reign of Sorrow. Learn. That takes a while. 
Getting a ton of random teleportation attempts. Okay, but that was... No, not even the last one. Let's try it again. Learning goes slightly down, slowly. Can we use it again? No. But that was absolutely worth nice. Can also learn. I, I think we just need to learn all the books anyways. Let's start with Cure Disease. But Reign of Sorrow first was a good idea. I think we got a very nice supply of uh, castings for that as well. Let's check that quickly. Reign of Sorrow. 1,220 castings of Reign of Sorrow with uh, how much willpower do we have at the moment? 42. Okay, but we are not using our uh, casting equipment anyways. So, keep learning. Come on. That should go faster. Wait. The spell book disappears. Darkness. Okay, now let's come. Let's rush this. Ah. Uh, with these insane amounts of darkness castings, we will probably not cast the spell even once in the whole game. That's most likely to happen. And, um, well, <laughs> we have them. It's uh, a matter of principle. It's a book. These books were made for reading. We are able to read, so we do have to do that. We could make the entire Caverns of Chaos dark, probably yes. Do we get extra score from spell knowledge? If we do, <laughs> okay, then we take that. Then that's the reason. It's, it's not uh, just a stupid habit that uh, the little Mr. Monk inside me uh, cannot get rid of. <laughs> Meanwhile, our our beautiful whip gets a little less beautiful. Ah. We do get extra points. That's nice. That uh, makes probably for a decent score for this character if we uh, ignore the infinite grinding and the horrible turn count that we will get. <laughs> Talking about this, I would really like, uh, as one of our future runs, to try another speed run again. I think my best speed run so far was something with speed runs, something with uh, thirty thousand or so, and uh, I'm pretty sure I can do that better. I'd really like to give it a try. Oh, we're getting hungry. Let's make sure that we don't starve while learning the earthquake spell. Let's eat something. Oh no, we teleported out. Let's keep reading it. We eat a blessed somophilia. That should uh, eliminate hunger for quite a while. Hellish flames, cool. Light, light, light. And we can probably make the whole dungeon dark and uh, afterwards uh, and light it again. Uh, 
uh, speedrun with the duelist. Yeah, yeah. so um, <laughs> I think that's a bit of a meme, isn't it? Because of <laughs> my inventory management. Uh, <laughs> I guess it is. The spell of revelation suddenly disappears. You read uh, about... Oh! You feel well educated by this. Uh, I accidentally read the Tome of Donors and, and, and we got something from it. I think we're done here with the... Uh, with the uh, spell books. Let's remove the curse from the crown. Oh. <laughs> Let's uh, now swap back to our trusted uh, circuit of the pure mind. And now I'd like to first um, increase our face dagger a little further. So we should read this one first. Uh, uncurse the one. Um, uncurse this one. Maybe we could also we could also just bless them, because why not? Increase melee damage. And uh, increase melee accuracy. So now we have a very respectable plus 8, 1d4, plus 4 face dagger. Not bad, not bad. Darkness knowledge, 10,457 indeed. I think that Bill could now cast Darkness uh, and not stop until he dies of old age. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> um, we should also bless the Corruption Remover Scrolls, just so they are blessed when we need them. And we do have a scroll of defense that we could use. Hello, Darkness, my old friend. <laughs> oh, yeah, Simon and Garfunkel. Beautiful band, by the way. Wonderful band. I absolutely love Simon and Garfunkel. So, Scroll of Defense, we bless you too. And we will cast defense on. <sighs> Not on this. We will cast it on our. I think we will try to cast it on. Our, yeah, on the other hand, the chance of failing on the, uh, no, 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 there is no chance of failing on the braces of regeneration. We will make them the best braces of regeneration this game has ever seen. So now they are plus two, plus five braces of regeneration. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, we keep free action as our main amulet. Martyr Crusader as our armor. Giant Strength as our girdle. And I'm considering being invisible. Let's use that and be an invisible. Totally super deadly. Spellcasting guy. Yeah, yeah, that was my idea too. I thought of using it on either Seven League Boots or the Girl of Giant Strength, but I think that they are a bit, uh, the braces are a bit more durable. And as long as we don't get the braces of war, we will probably use them till the end of the game. Um. <laughs> Kings and ice is probably the best we can use here. Elemental gauntlets over them. Eternium boots that we will soon replace by. Uh... Uh, the question is, what do we want to use here? The cornucopia? Does it make sense to have fire starter uh, in the in the utility slot? Does that give us any advantage? 
Firestarter is cool because of the manner, of course. But I don't know what Firestarter does. It's the first time I got my hands on that. We could maybe quickly uncurse the Gunukopia. Just that we are thinking about it. So. Okie dokie, that's our equipment. Our character carrying 8,500 stones, that's totally fine with a girdle of giant strength. Does this guy look to you? Ah, we will not use the snake whip probably uh, for the Tower of Eternal Flames. I think let's rather purifier or maybe sort of nonak and go full caster. Yes, I think we take the Sword of Nonak here. What else do we want to wish for? That's the question. I would love to wish for pairs of seven league boots, but uh, I will not take them into the tower because I don't want them to get destroyed. And on the other hand, Amulet of Life Saving will get that from the Ring of Ginny summoning that we have just blessed this very moment. So we have got uh, three wishes left. One from the ring, two from the wand. Um, Amulet of Life Saving will get that with the with the ring, I think. So I just drop the ring here. We leave it here. So we have one wish that we cannot lose. And is there anything else we need now? Revelation. Let's quickly do that. Uh, we are immune to disease. I think we're double or triple, resusing, uh, triple resistant to confusion with our insane willpower. That's pretty good. We can breathe water. Immune to fire and shock. Uh, I think we're triple death ray resistant. Paralyzed resist, double paralyzed resistant, stun resistant, we are invisible, TP control, fate smiles, lucky, cold and poison, ordinary resistance and acid, that's it. I think we are fine. We've got 55 willpower, that's enough to acid blast the living hell out of everything. No petrification resistance, that's true. So, let's go. Tower of Eternal Flames, here we come. The Tower of Eternal Flames. The air on this level is searingly hot. Let's go for it, guys. And we are instantly greeted by a fire giant king. Let's see what he says to our netherbolt. Okay, yeah, that's true. I use the uh, the intrinsic makes you immune to paralysis. That's nice. Okay, then we don't need that at all. That's true. Extra willpower is that enough for uh, for for even more range? Sixty. Sixty-four we need. So if we drink a potion of boost willpower in the fight against the ancient chaos worm, and I think we still have one potion of boost willpower, don't we? Or did we use our only one? That would be sad. We can drink this potential mana potion, by the way. Ah, damn. We don't have boost willpower. Damn. We need to get our willpower here. Dual wield, non-arc purifier, 
Maybe we will do that. Maybe we will do that. <laughs> we don't want to melee anybody anyways. We handle everything with a four range uh, acid ball. <laughs> Let's quickly save this visibility potion. We're not immune to item destruction. It's a uh, bit of a problem with just one ring of ice. Yeah, Ice Ball would be really neat here, you're right, uh, Curvox, but um, sadly we don't. We were not very lucky with the, with the ball spell books. That's why we had to wish for uh, Reign of Sorrow. But actually Netherbolt is pretty uh, amazing against these guys anyways. Um, if we hit, if we hit, come on, kill it. We could use magic map around you, yeah, but uh, that will cost us too much mana. I don't want to. Um, okay, we could maybe. Oh. We could maybe bless our magic map scrolls. That would probably be a good idea. But on the other hand, a little bit of risk. Isn't that part of the adventure? That is the Tower of Eternal Flames. And we mainly live from our insane uh, artifact selection anyways. Oh, come on, dude. Also, our mana regeneration is totally out of this world with the chainmail of the martyred crusader and the circlet of the pure mind. <laughs> we just walk from one room to the next, and we are we are full mana again. Probably could unequip the girdle, and maybe that's actually a good idea. Yeah, yeah we should do that. We don't want to use the girdle. Totally true. Very good call, Yorgash. Okay. Stop that. Still not burned. Yeah, but we also still have a uh, uh, Lordly Might uh, cast. Cast that about a hundred times, I think. So I'm actually considering still uh, wishing for a couple more spellbooks of Lordly Might, just so I don't have to keep that in mind all the time. Wait a second, we had potential strength. Maybe from a gi fire giant king, is there a chance that we can still get a, an increase? Oh no, we're still bloated. And it was not even king. Brittle wand. We don't know that yet. A very strange, heavy scimitar. A spellbook of cure disease. We have just uh, four thousand castings. We absolutely need to learn more of that. Okay, we already found the stairs. I just didn't see it. Okay, let's um, teleport over there. No, 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 that's the uh, downstairs. Need to go upstairs. Drop the crystal dagger. 
Nope, thanks. Let's go for the next searing hot level. Take a look at this maze. But this level is very hot, even for the relations of the Tower of Eternal Flames. The rocks are glowing in a bright light. Oh yeah, here we go. What's this? It's an adamantium sword. And br <coughs> yeah, usually the tower is this tipping point, Kerbox, just like you say. But I seriously think um, we are level 30, totally overpowered super character. There is not a lot that can go wrong here. I think we will just acid bolt everything to death. Um, let's dig our way in there. Do we have a wand of digging? Oh, no more castings. Let's quickly recharge it. That into a potion of boost. And let's make a nice little corridor down here. And another nice little corridor up there. Let's now... I want to give that a try. We will not use the wall in here. And rather we swap to purifier in the left hand. Increasing our willpower to 64. Is 64 enough? I think it is enough. Let's go, guys. Aye, aye, aye. That's the game. <laughs> That's totally insane. <laughs> Let's get alertness as high as we can get it. And uh, continue to have some fun here. Now Biz got the biggest balls of them all. <laughs> Kapow, indeed, Corin. Potion of training? Let's just drink that. Maybe we get a little alertness from it. No pickpockets. Okay. And we're still almost full HP. Uh, almost full mana. Hello, ancient chaos worm. Here we go. Let's go. Need some space around us to fight him. Is he already in our range now? One, two, three, four. I think he is. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I misclicked. I misclicked. That was not so cool. He tries to run away. But he cannot. He tries to heal himself. But that doesn't help him either. And now the Ancient Chaos Worm goes down without shooting a single spell at us. This is pure magical power. This is Bill for you. Woohoo! <laughs> Would you mind leaving my loot? Holy moly. Yeah, yeah, he's immune to, to, to very much, I think. And this four range... Uh, <laughs> acid ball is... <laughs> do we want to eat the ancient chaos worm? What, what do you guys think? Do we want to eat it? 
Does this ancient chaos worm look delicious to you? We could just um clear the rest of the vault as well, now that we're here. We've got <laughs> I think it's um it's easy experience to see these experience uh numbers <laughs> popping up everywhere. We just want to get in the middle of many of them at once. And then we cast Rain of Sorrow. <laughs> 6,000. 8,000. Another 8,000. I think I'd like to nether bolt him to death. It's an Eternium Girdle. Uh, we might give that a try. Uh, two corruptions. Uh, plus one strength and mana. Plus three strength, one mana. Attribute values. The cost will usually not give any attribute bonuses. Alternatively, I think three strength, one mana is maybe not worth. One strength, that's not worth. Yeah, Thekin, um Yeah, for Thekin it was a bit of a meme. He ate all the Orb Guardians, I think. <laughs> Just because he could. <laughs> I think we will rather bring the cops to Keith Rex. Uh, not to Keith. To, uh, to uh, Good Alak. By the way, is this a neutral altar? No. Of course, it's chaotic. I think the rest is probably not worth it. Oh, that's again 5,000 experience. We're almost level 32. We take that. Oh no, Corin, you stepped on it and got sacrificed. That's horrible. Oh, another 2,000. Are there any more sources of... Wait a second, we've got super much gold. Do we want to convert the altar? Would be kind of cool, don't you think? To have a lawful altar in the Tower of Eternal Flames. I kind of like the idea. Let's do that. I mean, why did we bring dog creation, if not for that? Why not? Why not? It's super safe. <laughs> Nothing can <laughs> potentially go wrong. You can't get sacrificed on the temple altars if you are... Oh, you cannot? I didn't know that. That's why I usually, when I convert them, I build these, uh, these rooms around the altar uh, made of doors so no monster can see me. Um, did I? Oh, yeah. I cast it on the wrong square. <laughs> mm. um. 
You can get sacrificed on chaotic altars, of course. But you can also get sacrificed on lawful altars if you are a chaotic being, for example. Or probably even on neutral ones, I think. Uh, that's actually a big threat to chaotic characters. They can get sacrificed pretty easily. Raudo says, I once got sacrificed by Quickling despite building such close space. It just opened the door and got more turns before I could... Oh, that's horrible. That's some truly bad luck. Holy moly. Yeah, luckily, uh, this, uh, the chance of a Quickling spawning here in the, in the, in the Tower of Eternal Flame is rather low. So let's just take maybe 30,314 gold. That should definitely be more than enough. Ah, uh, what happened? It's now neutral, but we don't want it to stay neutral. We take another 30,000. Because if we do it, we do it consequently. And now we have a co-aligned Lawful altar right at the top of the Tower of Eternal Flames. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Do we have uh, water potions to bless? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we couldn't quickly maybe go up here and kill these guys. And this is level 32. Excellent. Um, you may now pray twice as often as others. Perfect. <laughs> Not that we are already at the part of the game where praying becomes significantly less worthy, but well. Gardening a little bit. Um, the ancient chaos worm corpse is still blessed. No problem. We will bring this corpse to the to the druid. Twice per turn? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, by the way, we should maybe stop dual wielding for now. Let's go back to the. Um, the snake whip, why not? And and the shield. Yeah, I think that uh, maybe uh, it takes us half as much piety to pray. <laughs> I think that's uh, that's more likely. Yeah, Frank, uh, we killed the Ancient Chaos Worm with um, incredible range, Rain of Sorrows, and um, the Chaos Worm didn't get a single attack launched on us. That was quite a slaughter. So now we just need to rush over to Tyrinio. Let's kill the Black Unicorn, because why not? Let's whip the Black Unicorn to death. <laughs> Excellent. Here we are. The corpse is still fit. Perfect. Okay. I just want to wait for him to get out of the water. Chaos hath already corrupted the weather. Didst you notice? Searched a beautiful park in the central forest of this valley. A good and noble creature there seeks your help. Oh yeah, we got the Unicorn quest. Nice. We'll do that later. But for now, 
we've got another beautiful and noble creature that we want to give you. It's the ancient chaos worm. Thanks to ye for bringing this corrupted thing to me. I will care for it. Thanks a lot for giving me a potion of cure corruption. So guys, I think we played almost three hours for today. That should be enough. We cleared a greater undead vault. We killed the ancient chaos worm. We got a couple of great additions to our inventory, a couple of fantastic artifacts and we even dropped the tons of unnecessary stuff that we were carrying around. I think that's quite a success. So let me say big thanks to everybody who tuned in today. You cheered Thigan to this milestone in his adventures. Big thanks to everybody who will eventually watch this video on YouTube. I am considering to do a little stream of Rogue Empire tomorrow. So if you like Rogue Empire, tomorrow evening, not quite sure about the time yet. But uh, I think chances are pretty good to get one stream in tomorrow. The next Adom stream will again take place on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central European time. Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central European time. Then we will finally dive deep into the Caverns of Chaos. Until then, um, by the way, Yulgash, uh, do you still want to stream today? If you've still got a stream, then I will just uh, raid everybody over to you. Not streaming today? Okay, maybe next time. <laughs> So guys, thanks again to everybody who was here today. Until next time. Bye everybody.